Hi everybody, and this is really a short tutorial of where I'm gonna show you what you need to know about OpenAI API in Python. And as you can see, I already opened it a new collab notebook. So let's begin. And first, let me tell you and show you Python library that this that you can use for your Python project. So for example, if you create that Django application and if you want to integrate OpenAI API in your application, you can use this package. But there is also another cool package that is named like Langchain and it's like a large language models framework. And also I will make a video about this, but first let's uh, talk about OpenAI. So first let's install this package. So let's type here pip install OpenAI and also I will create here another code snippet and let's see this example. So as you can see when we create where we, when we want to start using OpenAI in some Python application first we will need to set up API key uh, that we can get from platform of OpenAI.com. So you will need to create here account. So when you created a new account, you go here, view API keys, and for example, I can delete this key and I will create a new key for this tutorial and I will type here just OpenAI API, create a secret key, and now I can copy this and use it in my application. So as you can see, OpenAI package successfully installed. So that means that now I can do this example. So first let's import OS, import OpenAI package. And now let's type OpenAI API key will equal to OS, or maybe you can just type here this string. So now we configured API key for our requests. And now we can make some simple example. As you can see with a model that is named Text DaVinci or we can also try GPT-3 and 5. So first let's copy this response example and let's format all this stuff. So let me tell you what these parameters do. So first, uh, this is model. Here we select models that we want to use uh, in our request. If you want to read more about models, you can go here and as you can see, there is uh, models that you can use for your API request. So for example, uh, GPT-3.5 GPT Turbo, or for example, if this is GPT-3, you can use your text query, text Babbage, text Ada, DaVinci, Curry, Babbage, here. Yeah. So that's all models that you can use. Uh, but you, can, you can't uh, use GPT-4 because this is for limited uh, developers. Okay, so here is, as I said, we select model that we want to use in our request and prompt this is message that we want to send to model. In our case, we can type, hello, what's going on? And this this parameter tempera temperature uh, temperature is responsible for creativity of your model. So for example, I will type here uh, 0.5 and this will make response from model more creative. Max tokens. What is tokens in OpenAI API? Tokens are used like a fuel for our request. So for example, uh, the more if you want to get a really big response from the model, uh, you will need more tokens for this. So for example, in my, my case, it will be uh, this amount of tokens and the maximum amount of tokens you can uh, find here. So for example, as you can see for, for GPT-4, this is oh really big <laughs> amount of tokens. But for GPT-3, this is uh, 200 and 2000, I mean, and some, some other uh, numbers. So now let's try to do this re uh, request. So as you can see, we make a request to text DaVinci 003. Uh, this is our message that we will send to this model and temperature as it we said and amount of tokens. So now let's send this request and let's see what we will get. As you can see, uh, we have here response and this is choices, choices array where we can see message from this uh, model and our uh, response is inside choices text and this is message from this model nothing punch just doing some work how about you so we can get this message by uh, choices so we can type here choices zero text now let's try uh, do another message so for example what is maybe you know we can ask something like um, what is python now let's send this request and let's see what we will get. Python is high level general purpose interrupted programming language. So as you can see, we get 
responses from OpenAI API. And yeah, that's all what you need to know for now. If you want to just build some basic APIs or something like this, I mean, not basic APIs, if you want to integrate some basic OpenAI API in your application. And if you want to build something much complex, you will need to use GPT-3.5 and LangChain. About LangChain, I will make um, another video. So that's all for this tutorial. So thanks for watching and we're going to meet in the next videos.